Welcome to the 2023 Dial-M2B Trail Bike Shootout wrap-up videos. So today we're gonna to be talking about the runner-ups of each of the bikes in their head-to-head -head comparison. So with that, I do wanna let you know that none of these bikes are bad. I'm just, I've got six of these bikes and I think all six of these bikes are some of the best trail bikes in 2023. And there's six of them. Yeah, there might be a couple that aren't in this shootout that might slot in in the middle or above some or below some or in last, but these are some of the best bikes that you can buy in 2023 and I truly believe that. So let's get into it. Today's bikes are going to be the Santa Cruz Hightower V3, the Ibis Ripmo, and the Score 4060 ST. All right, so with that, let's just jump into the climbs. Let's talk about the Ripmo and the 4060. These two bikes do seem like the faster climbers in the bunch out of these three bikes. Um, they kind of feel more peppy and get up and go. The, the 4060 definitely has like a very lively feel, like I talked about in the comparison video, uh, where like the Ripmo does too, it gets up and goes. And the cool thing about the Ripmo, it might not be actually a thing, but the when you get going on the Ripmo, it just feels like you can keep going and keep going faster and faster, even on like a climb, like a sustained climb, not something super steep, but like a, like a gravel road that's not a crazy, uh, steep gravel road, but it just feels like you can get going and just keep pushing and like it just continually gets faster. It just, the roll speed is high on it. It feels like even with those Asagai tires front and rear, it felt like you could get going a little faster than both of the other two bikes, the Hightower and the 4060. Not get going, but can get carry your speed more. Um, I think that score 4060 got going the fastest, got up to speed coming out of a corner in an uphill climb. Um, whereas the high tower, it just, for me, the high tower was actually the most comfortable climbing bike out of the bunch, where it, I think it was probably the slowest actually out of all three of the bikes, but it was the most comfortable. If I was doing a really long day, me personally for myself, the high tower was actually the most comfortable, followed very, very closely by the Ripmo. And I mean, that's, they're very close. And then the score felt just a little off. I rotated bars, I rotate, I just, I changed a lot of things on that bike, trying to make it feel a little more comfortable all around. And it just didn't quite get there, but it was, it had a very like peppy, lively feel, which was, which was uh, kind of exciting on the climb. So with that, I would say that the 4060 would have the least amount of traction on the climb. With that peppiness comes the least amount of traction. And the high tower, I actually, I, I don't know if the high tower or the Ritmo has more traction. They both have a lot of traction in, in like rocky loose stuff. I would say that rocky, chunky climbs, the Ritmo would do better on. And like loose, kind of bumpy climbs, the high tower is actually a little bit more comfortable and does better on. So they both do well in both, but if you're trying to split hairs, I think that's how it would go. So with that, let's wrap up climbing on these. They're all really good climbers. I think the score is the fastest, followed very closely by the Ripmo. And then the high tower would probably be a little bit slower than both, but the most comfortable and relaxed out of the three. Um, so let's go into descending. And these bikes all have really good traits on the descent. Each one, something a little bit different. Let's start with the high tower. So the high tower, the rear end, might be the best rear end in this entire test. There's one other bike that we might talk about later in one of the winter videos that has a better rear end than this, but it's uh, it kind of is impressive. So with that, just saying, if the Ripmo or the 4060 had the rear end feeling of the high tower, I don't think either one of those would be in this video. I think they would have been the winners of their respective head-to-head -head comparison. So that says a lot about how good that rear end is on the Santa Cruz, and Santa Cruz is always that VPP. Man, it is so dang good. I, and another thing that I wanna let you know about is I have really, really liked Santa Cruz bikes for the last few years. It's been one of the bikes that I've almost always had in my garage for my personal bike. So it was really tough to have this bike in a loser category um, or the runner-up category, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good bike. The front end, I think that the 
Ibis Ripmo has a better front end than the Hightower. If you could just merge those together, it'd be absolutely amazing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the stack or the reach or whatever it might be. Um, it just feels so comfortable or the bottom bracket height. It could be so many different things. Um, but yeah, the, the front end on that Ripmo, I talked about that, I believe, in the comparison video, which you should go check out if you haven't seen it yet, that Ripmo versus Arrival comparison video. Uh, they, the front end just really pulls the bike through a downhill. If you're going down through something steep, you have so much confidence in that front end where there's really only one other bike in the whole test and it was against the Ritmo. It was that Arrival that had that same front end feeling, which was just kind of amazing. It really kind of put itself ahead of others within that. But then that rear end on that Ritmo just kind of holds you back in a little bit chunkier stuff. And that rear end kind of felt more like the score. I'd say the score rear end was actually pretty good, but then that front end lacked a ton. I know this sounds crazy talking about front and rear ends, but uh, it's when you ride all these bikes back to back to back to back to back, it really shows the tiniest little details of each bike. And the going to the score, let's talk about what's something that was really fun about this bike. So it really, wanted to just kind of pop up and play around and like you could go like it wants to go fast but it also wants to play around as what my thoughts are on that bike um and it kind i think the problem with me at least my riding style it didn't do the best at either so i just kind of it wasn't the most comfortable i also do want to say that the the i think it was the bars maybe the stem length if those were different, I think I would have had a different outcome with this bike. I really messed around with them a lot and I could not get it great. All right, in summary, I would say that the Santa Cruz Hightower is the most predictable out of these three bikes for the descent, most comfortable for the climb. The Ibis Ripmo is the fastest feeling and makes you want to charge down the hill and also the most fun. It also is pretty poppy for what it is, which is kind of crazy. Um, and then the Score 4060 ST is kind of like, it wants to go fast, but it also ha wants to have fun. So it's kind of like, it's just like a party bike, it feels like. So with that, let's wrap this up. And if you have any guesses on which of these bikes are gonna rank first, I mean, I guess technically, any of these bikes could rank second through six. So put in the comments down below where you think any of these bikes are gonna rank in the overall of the 2023 trail bike shootout at the end of this series we're going to do a conclusion video with a first through sixth ranking for all of these bikes so definitely stay tuned for all of that and then with that if you like this video like and subscribe for more like this and get out and ride